Pockets of people's stories, cradled by brick and mortar. I miss the rubble and murmur, living catalysts of love. Paint gallons of life on dreary, dance over mundane and void. Solitude birthed a smile that sought community and good. Build towers of noise of ciders, such transients won't quake. A spirit not stone cemented, but blood and flesh and faith. We were never derelict, just displaced and out of sight, carrying home inside us, when home they tried to break. Around here, this area were absolutely buzzing in the 80s. It was the place to be. And just behind these flats across from here, there was all these nightclubs, there was Roxy's, Crazy Daisy, and Greasy Vera's where we used to come in and we all used to have a, a greasy sandwich at two or three o'clock in the morning and scramble for taxis. And the amount of people she must have served at three to four in the morning were unbelievable. She must be the richest woman in Sheffield. We always like to get dressed up now and again. And one day we overdid it, we put a suit on and we looked like the CID. And, I, and no one would go with it. We couldn't get a woman. Not, I said, I think we better give up on that. They thought we were the coppers. I said, oh God, no, you're not. She said, so we stood there, we get up on it. I looked round and there were a woman. She must have been dressed like a crisp bag. She got, and I said, I think we're overdressed. I think we've done it here. So we, we had to leave. My early experiences of Park Hill are all through stories. My dad was a DJ. He would tell me stories of when he would come to Park Hill and when he would play on the radio and, su and such and such. And people would come from different parts of Sheffield to, ex to, to gather, you know, they, they would have jams, parties where people could come and break dance, people could come and do graffiti, people could come and, uh, you know, play music. So I guess my um, sort of idea of Park Hill is one of culture and one of uh, sort of music and, and uh, unity. So when being asked to write the poem uh, about Park Hill, it was sort of something that I had to think about in more depth. And this place is what's always been here since I was born. So you've always known about it, going out and swimming baths down the road, you could always see it. And it looks a lot better now. Well, well my mum had the pub next to Park Hill, and uh, it was quite a nice place, to be fair. Lovely inside. There were no doors on toilets, though. I thought it was quite strange. It was fascinating coming here for the first time, and the history, and the and the graffiti on the walls, and the weird little stories you'd find written on the park, on the flats. Um, a lot of them were were just like the people had just left. You know, there was there. Was, there seems to have been a very popular lady called Tracy, who seemed to be, uh, who seemed to have had lots of stuff written about her on various parts of the parts of the flats, and and but but not just one line, but whole whole essays about where she'd gone and what she'd done, and uh, her her boyfriend who would, who seemed to be missing her greatly but couldn't find her. So the, so the actual look of the building isn't isn't really changing. It's just being updated, but still showing the original architectural modernist elements, but not hiding them, not going, not not disguising the fact that it it wasn't a block on the south of France, but by the Corsier. It's a, it's from Sheffield. It's more industrial. It's, it shows its age a bit like Sheffield itself. I think a lot of the rumours about Park Hill probably bear a second look. You know, there's an awful lot of stuff about Park Hill, people throwing tellies out of windows and all the drug dealing that used to supposedly happen here. Yes, it probably did, but then it was people's homes as well. It, it, it's, a, it's a fascinating story, and one of the really interesting things about the story is that it's still continuing. It's a building that needed needed refurbishing and a bit of love, didn't it? I mean, it's Europe's largest grade two listed building. Um, and it was, a, it was a monstrosity above Sheffield. Um, it was dead. Basically, wherever you are in the city centre, you look up and you see Park Hill Flats. 
think most people who are from Sheffield do feel really, really proud, um, whether it be of Park Hill Flats or of their football team or of the fact that Arctic Monkeys came from here. There's lots and lots of things in Sheffield for us to be proud of. Yeah, so I'm a massive Blades fan. I support of Blades all, all my life, all my family's Blades. And especially going to the matches, the, the Wednesday and the United matches, always such a fantastic atmosphere. Um, really, really good. It's a shame we're in the Premiership now and obviously we, we don't have those local derbies anymore. <laughs> Just at the minute, Sheffield United are having the success, and, and we're not. We're, Sheffield Reds is having a bit of a doldrum at the moment, but if you bide your time, then things will come right. Yeah, and probably the same with this. The big kids coming and coming and going. They'll go to university and they'll get on. They've got a chance to have a life and a bit of a bit of entertainment at night. I think it's getting better. Sheffield's getting better. They've all got something to do in Sheffield. It's, it, it, it's a bigger city than what people think. My, my, son, my son lives here. If he has half a life, what I've had, he'll have a good life. Yeah, but mine's not over yet. I'm still here building.